Peace, it's Damon Stiff, Guild of the Silent Sword, Hama. Big shout out to the fellas and to the ladies representing Hama across the country and across the world now. Um, I wanted to shoot a quick video um, in respect to the work that's being done by the Chicago Sword Playing Guild. Um, they have a Hama focus group and they've been following along with uh, my Chotel curriculum and they've been really kicking a lot of ass and doing a lot of really hard work. So I wanted to dedicate this video to them um, and talk about the Chotel and the Gashan. So I actually made a training Gashan, um, which you'll notice, unlike my other shields, this one is actually uh, convex. And um, I want to play around and see how that shape may offer more protection against the Chotel. And then I have this right here, um, first ever, first gen, Street Forge Armory, aluminum training Chotel. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to actually move this thing around. Um, anyhow, so one quick thing I want to say about the Chotel, and this is all from my experience and from my understanding, um, the, the limitations in that, I don't want to overstate those things, um, or understate it I should say, but uh, from my understanding and from my research, because I had a, um, had a guy on, on YouTube asking me, if the Chotel is a double-edged sword, he asked, why am I holding it backwards? And I had to think about this because the Chotel is a double-edged sword. There's technically not, in my opinion, a way to hold it backwards. I mean, I guess maybe if I hold it like this or whatever, but both edges are functional. Um, you see a lot of artwork that, that represent, that show the Chotel or the Ethiopian saber being used just like a saber. Um, then there's, you know, uh, 19th century uh, descriptions of the Chotel being used, you know, like a sickle to hook around shields. And there are a few images. There's a, a, a short reel uh, during the uh, second Italian invasion of, of a Ethiopian uh, soldier using a Chotel in this sickle configuration. And there's a really badass picture, a uh, black and white image of an Ethiopian war warrior with a Chotel in this over, this, this over the shoulder guard. And he's holding his Gashan. He has this really extremely long spear in his, in his um, left hand. So through artwork and through uh, eyewitness accounts, the Chotel um, is functional in both configurations. So I'm gonna do a little bit of movements and I'm just gonna show how you can use this both as a saber slash shamshir style sword or as a sickle or a hook, okay? Here we are. <clears throat> also, one thing I want you to note, there are gonna be times when my shield's gonna be extended and times when my shield is gonna be kind of close to my body. Uh, Ethiopian artwork depicts both ways when using the sword, so I wanted to play around with that, okay?
Anyways, <clears throat> so as you can see, the Chotel can be used to cut, flash, and then hack, boom, and thrust from these really awkward angles. Anyhow, <clears throat> that's all I have for today. Look out for more videos um, on the Chotel. If you're interested in starting a focus group, either on the Chotel, the Takoba, or in Egyptian uh, fighting arts, please contact me. I'd be happy to kind of help give you some um, information to start with. Thank you guys again. Um, peace. Until next time. The King of the North.